the weather is really good at the moment so I'm after dragging in this old barbecue that I made a number of years ago and uh, I've decided to renew the barrel on it using this nice clean old oil drum that I have. Um, this was actually one of my first projects with my old meat welder so I thought this was an ideal opportunity to have a go of my new Jefferson um, MIG welder. So it's a nice kind of clean project and uh, something simple that's wrapped up in one go. So the uh, first thing I'm going to have to do is uh, cut this guy in half. I've actually had a little bit of a test fire uh, with my nice clean half barrel and uh, using these um, these grills that I saved from an old cooker. I'm that's shown me that I need to use uh, these extra bars just to give a bit of support to those. And I've decided in the past I actually used to use um, charcoal, but uh, I have a great supply of um, timber at the moment, so I, I'm going to use some some old wood uh, in this. So I'll use the, the, the hot plate that I had before, I'm actually just going to cut that in half and use that to reinforce the, the base of this. That was one of the flaws of this one and led to the, the, the middle of this burning out originally. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do then is just strip down all the bits I need off this old barrel, uh, clean them up and make them ready for welding. First thing I'm going to weld back in is this frame. So it's time to unbox the new welder. Whoever packed it didn't expect me to go in from the bottom. <laughs> Got a bit of reading to do. This welder came set up for solid MIG welding wire and using gas but I'm more familiar with using gasless MIG wire and I had some left over so I'm going to start off by using that just uh, for familiarity for me so there's a few things I need to do to set that up and one of them is to, um, to change the polarity uh, on the cables. I found all this out reading the instructions. What a crazy idea. So I also have to change the, the tip and it was set up with a 
0.6 millimeter of wire and um, the gasless meat that I have is 0.8 but there was a tip supplied so that's really handy. So let's see if there's signs of life. The wire speed right up, with the tip out, and I'm going to put my uh, 8 mm tip on when it gets there. Oh, that's feeding really nice. Wow. Okay, let's give it a go. A little bit high on the surface there, so they're going to take a bit of time to get used to these settings on this one. But uh, it's a good crackle off it anyway. A bit more like it. That's the first, second, and third attempt. This is going to come together in no time. I have to say, I'm very pleased to have my old barbecue back. Yeah,